Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, Adobe has just updated Lightroom CC to version 2015.8. And with this update, you get a little bit of performance improvements that I haven't really noticed yet. But one thing I have noticed I actually really do like is the new reference image uh, view mode. And I think this is really pretty nice. So what it does is it lets you view a photo that you choose as your reference photo, then compare it to all your other photos while you scroll through the other photos while keeping the reference on the side of the screen at the, all the time. So let me show you that. Let me choose one of my photos here. Click on this one and just go ahead and click on develop. Now you have to use develop module to be able to do this. Now this is one I actually do want to reference, but if you'll notice down here in the corner, let me zoom in for you. We got a regular view. Now we have an RA. Now the RA is for the reference and active. And then you got your other compare, you know, cycles between before and after views. We want to click on RA. All right. Now there's another way you can get to this. Also, you can go to view and go down to open in reference view. But we're not going to mess that one. It's the same thing. All right. Now we go down here to our little uh, timeline here. And to what you do is to be able to get this in the reference view, just to kind of drag and drop one in. Okay. And I think that works pretty decent. And let's go down here now. Click on this. Now we can use the arrow key and we can go back and forth. Of course, you can probably use your mouse too. Depends on how you get your Lightroom set up. I'm just going to use the arrow keys. And we can view our reference image, which I got over here to the side on my left. And view our active one here. Change it and look at it and compare them. Like I said, this is really nice because even if you use manual settings, manual flash, everything, just from the model backing up, getting closer or further away, can actually change the light. And so, and just also the different clothing, different angles, can make the image look darker or dimmer or just need a little bit of extra uh, change in the adjustments. So, if you want your photos to look you know, as close as possible to being the same, you know, keep them all looking uh, like they all match, then sometimes you have to go through and really edit, edit a couple of them to bring them up, bring them down. This lets you look at one, okay, reference image, and the one you want to edit over here to the side. So you can look at it and say, well, you know, this skin's a little brighter on this one. It is over here. Maybe we need to adjust this one to match it. And I think that's really handy. This is a tool I'm actually going to end up using a lot. It's something very simple. Most people probably never ask for, but, you know, if somebody did, you know, kudos for asking for that. I don't know why I never bothered to ask it. Of course, I ain't like Adobe would ever pay attention to me anyway. But it's a tool I will find myself using quite a bit, and I'm actually uh, very thankful that Adobe did uh, decide to add this to Lightroom. But anyway, that's it. Uh, when you get done with the reference view, you can simply just go back over here to the corner and go ahead and click on that. Go back in the regular view and you're done. So anyway, that's it for this little quick tip, tutorial, whatever you call it. Uh, update, news, whatever you want to call this video. But anyway, like I said, I really do like this. I think a lot of people real, will actually, you know, liking this, uh, you know, view, new view mode, I guess you can call it. So anyway, that's it for this video, everyone. See y'all next time.